in a historic first, a South African-led project has been selected as a payload on China's Chang'e 8 lunar mission. This landmark partnership marks a giant leap for the continent's space ambitions and a new chapter in global lunar exploration. So we had a, a crazy idea almost 12 years ago now to put a telescope on the far side of the moon. So we've had over 33 engineers and scientists that have contributed their time and energy over the last 10 years on a voluntary basis. Uh, industry organizations like Sereo, the South African National Space Agency, then came on board other African space agencies and institutions and scientists. The Africa to Moon mission is led by Dr. Carla Mitchell and Dr. Adriana Marai, two pioneering women driving Africa's presence in space. Africa to Moon mission is a bold initiative to land the first African-designed radio telescope on the moon. The project is now becoming a reality through a landmark partnership with China. We are sending a telescope array. So this is where we put uh, small instruments together and they work together as if they were a big instrument. They're actually bounced African low lunar spheres because they're round and they do low frequency. And so the acronym is BALLS. We kept that because it's fun. And so these moon balls will work together as one telescope. The moon balls have been accepted as a payload, meaning they will hitch a ride on China's Chang'e 8 and a robotic lander will deploy them on the moon's surface. So we will be looking at the universe in low frequency. So some of the things we hope to see is the beginning of the universe. We hope to detect that in low frequency and to help characterize that for scientists. And then we hope to look at the Earth's auroral kilometric emissions. We've all seen aurora and how our uh, magnetic shield works and how this interacts with solar activity like solar bursts. Now part of China's International Lunar Research Station framework, the Africa to Moon project reflects years of determination and the visionary efforts of leaders like Dr. Adriana Marai, a driving force for Africa in space. It's a very exciting moment for Africa and to be partnering with China in this very exciting time for the entire planet in space exploration as we prepare to have permanent human habitation on the surface of the moon. But this mission isn't just about science, it's about inspiring a new generation of dreamers across Africa. We almost have a half a billion young people in Africa and we want to inspire them to say, you don't need a lot of money, you just need a dream, you need to be prepared to put in hard work and you can get to the moon. So a big part of this project is not about raising money, it's about collaboration, showing that if we work together, we can get there. From Cape Town to the moon, Africa to Moon mission is transforming a bold vision into reality. It starts with a dream, yes, but it's fueled by science, strengthened by partnerships and driven by the belief that Africa's place is in space. Julie Shara, CGTN, Cape Town.